Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're let's playing Dragon Quest V. In the last episode, we saved Bianca and became a family again. Finally, after so many years. And we went and saw Jijo, and he's back as well. Now we're heading to the town of El Heaven. And I don't know why I didn't warp there. Now that I think about it. But we're almost there anyways. You might as well enjoy flying on Master Dragon. Anyways, I'd just like to apologize for the last three episodes that I made. But there is a little bit of a buzzing, humming noise coming from there. Uh, you know what? We're going to return to El Heaven anyways. Uh, just for the reason being that the ship will be here. Alright, anyways. Yes, I'm sorry about that humming before. It was my mic being a poo-poo head. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, so my mic was being a poo-poo head, and I don't understand why it was buzzing. I don't know. I think it was because it was near the... It was pointing towards the ground, and it shouldn't have been doing that. Anyways, the door to the Temple of Water has been kept locked for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yes, I want to go to the Demon World, but I have to open up the Water Temple. Yes, he has. Yeah, he won't come into here. The three rings, huh? I wonder if I have all three of them. I know I have the... Ring of Flames out, and the Ring of Life, but I don't think... Oh yeah, and Bia Bianca comes with uh, her old equipment on, too. Ah, crap. You know what? I gotta go back to the depository and grab the Ring of Life. Or the Ring of Water. I bet you won't let me... Nope. Oh, wow. Why is it at some places it'll let me return, and in others it won't? Anyways, you remember way back when, in the very, 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 very beginning of this game, when they came down and I was like, Hello, my name's Kenshin1913, and we're Let's Play... Oh, no, I don't want to deposit. And I will... I don't want to... No, I don't want to... Ah. Anyways, I was like... Hello, this is blah, blah, this is Kenshin 1913, and we're let's playing Dragon Quest V. Anyways, remember that, and it came down, and there was a castle in the back, and, um, where the hell is the water ring? Where is the water ring? Here it is. Ah, uh, I'll carry it, why the hell not? Anyways... There was a castle in the sky or something, and then there was a thing, and it came down and it said Dragon Quest V, and then there were three rings involved. This is why. Because we need three rings in order to rescue our mummy. So, from here, let's go back to El Heaven. And now we're going to... I will, I will equip Bianca with some new equipment later. I don't really feel like doing it right now. But now, let's go into this cave. The Water Temple, as they call it. And go up north. See, I, I believe the, uh... The final ring is a side quest, because you don't need the final ring to open this door. I don't pre possess the correct key. What the hell do they mean by that? Where's the final key? What the freak? I guess I need that. Why the hell did I put it away? Crap, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back over here. I guess you do need the final key. I thought Ivan... Ivanall, or whatever his name was, opened this door for you at least. With his magical powers, but obviously he did not. Anyways, we're in this little area now with three statues. And their orb things are glowing. The goddess finger is glowing white. The goddess finger is glowing white. So basically, what you need to do here is put the rings, all three rings, on all three statues. That's right. Ironically, our wedding rings were actually the key to opening up the demon world thing. The demon world. And there we go. 
Oh, look at that. Now there's some sort of portal. Oh, we're being sucked in. No! What's going on? And they died. No, I'm just joking. But now we're here. We're here in this crazy world that is the demon dark world, or I'm going to call it the dark world, or the bad place. Oh, we hear a magical voice. My mom. That's right, we're here to get you back, Ma. That's right, we're pretty damn strong. I am not gonna turn back. I'm coming to get you. Oh, look at that! She's gonna give us a gift. It's a stone or something. What the frig? Let's get the stone already. Hooray! We got the Sage's Stone. Not as useful as in Dragon Quest IV, but it will do. We'll give it to our daughter, Nina. It's like the Helios spell, except a little weaker. Now here we are in the demon world. Ooh, scary music. Creepy. Wow, you couldn't get more annoying than those blizzard hawks. Wow. They just wrecked me a bunch. Oh, look at this. New enemies. Bazoozoo! Let's use Explode It. And we have the Golden Golem. Not bad, Nina, not bad. Anyways, so we're here at the Demon World, the Dark World, the World of Evil. And let's see if we can use our Wayfarer's map to see. If we can look at the evilness that is this world. Yeah, so, oh, that's kind of neat. They do show us. So, basically, the demon world is three little parts. The main island, which we were just on. This little island that's kind of like Zelda 2-esque with the friggin' all these m mountains and one-way alleys and stuff. And then the northern mountain, or the northern island where the final battle... Oh, look at this, another new enemy, a great dragon. Now, if you really want, you can get these guys on your sides, the great dragons. But anyways, the northern island is the island where the final battle will take place. And basically, you just murder these monsters. That's right, murder them. Hooray for murder. Alright, we're almost here at this town. This is a crazy ass town. Actually, this is the final town of the game. This is the city of Janana. Uh, the only city that exists in this dark underworld of demons and things. It's sacred water by Lady Martha. So Lady Martha made this city on rock and roll. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look, see? I came from the surface. It is not impossible. I've done it. And you can become a human if you're like, uh... Shoot. You know, if you're like, uh, what's his name from the first game? Healy. From the fourth game, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, we're gonna help Lady Martha, my mom, alright? We're gonna get her back. Anyways, I believe this guy is a monster guy. If, uh, you want weapons, let's quickly show you the weapons. The Honorable. Oh, the Lornable. What? He lives on the North Mountain, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Anyways, let's show you this, the weapons we're going to buy. Uh, probably a Staff of Revival, because I think if you use it in battle, it revives you. We're going to buy a big bow gun, a blizzard sword for Pippin, and I think that's it. Maybe a, uh, yeah, and a blizzard sword for Pierre. 
So that's going to be a lot of money. I have a lot of money. This basically is the last place in the world that you're going to be using money. So after this, we'll be going casinoing. And I'm going to dedicate almost a whole episode, or a good chunk of a whole episode, to just all the things in the casino, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to get some items from it. All the money you need. This is an item shop. You can buy the hat of wind. Basically that will and elven amulets, which I'm gonna buy for everybody. Uh the hat of wind basically is like a uh a return spell if you use it. It's pretty nice. And then I just wanna uh I'll show you in the next episode. This has been Kenshin nineteen thirteen, I'll see you later, bye.